Hell yeah. Something. Hell yeah. Shout out to mom and dad. Shit, man. Yeah, hell yeah, man. For real. You say up in the church. I know you found some little church freaks up in that mud. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm, damn, Q. Baby, you did that. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy versus everybody podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. Feud is kind of diabolical. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I feel like that's a daytime show. Like, like <laughs> being up at three o'clock in the morning, we watching Family Feud. I don't is know how niggas just stay on the boy, dog. Just be chilling like that. This shit boring, dog. You try to find I, shit. I, I don't think I'll ever be bored enough to watch <laughs> Family Feud at 3 a.m., nigga. nigga no that's sports. a day show, nigga. I'd rather watch a rerun of a 1980s oh, yeah. basketball game with no And that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm off work nigga. right now. When no basketball, no football, just oh yeah, there there isn't anything on right now. I mean, that bitch is like, damn, what to watch? Femi Fuel, fuck it. Nah, nah. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> hey, old dog, dog. Shit, we we might we gonna do a hide your button, dude. Niggas, just start from there, nigga. <laughs> but shit, man. Hey, episode two hundred three. Yes, we yes. got return guests, and y'all know me. I don't really let niggas come back unless I rock with them, dog. Let's go. And my dog be working, man. Appreciate Super Queen that. in the building. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> we got. <laughs> Rapper, <laughs> creator, young goat in this motherfucker, man. Cue the boy. What's the word with you, What's man? Good, man? What's Super Quinn, man. Uh, how was Super Quinn compared to Cue the boy, man? What's the difference? What's the What's the same? I feel like I mean, cause I feel like Super Quinn was just like super green in the music industry so mm-hmm. it's like I made the first song I ever made was Super Quentin so I'm like thinking that oh yeah I'm about to take off off this yeah. and then you go into shit and you realize like oh it takes more than just <laughs> you know yelling on a song for three minutes <laughs> yeah, to, yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. on some Khalees type time to like, you know what I'm saying no, for sure. to be able to do shit so for sure. like you start yeah so yeah I feel like now I'm more polished I'm more like introspective I feel yeah. like I'm more like responsible in my music so Hell yeah, hell yeah. Now you, um, if uh, my producer keep it, we was talking about um, prior to this, Mike niggas, a dude killed his motherfucking ex girlfriend, new dude. When you fucking with a chick, dog, you asking questions about like, hey, you got if they got a kid, how the baby daddy is, or how your ex is. Like, are you worried about shit like that when you fucking with a uh, with a, with a, with a lady? That should be something that comes up in the conversation, like the first conversation yeah. is the. And I feel like it's two. It's a two part responsibility, right? Yeah. I feel like on a woman end, it's her responsibility to be transparent as possible because. Her life is at risk. Yeah. The nigga that she talking to life is at risk. Hell yeah. And her baby daddy life is at risk. For you sure. know what I'm saying? Because if he got, if she don't tell you that her baby daddy is still in love with her Man. and is willing to crash out, yeah. like she putting your life at risk. Nigga, like you know what I'm saying? People be kicking it. That's a lot of people. Niggas die all the time because they kicking it with a girl, <laughs> thinking shit sweet. Hell baby yeah. daddy walk in, see red, and yeah. it's over with. Duh. So it's like. I feel like on the women's end, she should be super duper transparent about like what the situation is, so that way the man can make a decision, make more like make like wise decisions, right? So like, and they can politic around that. She should be like in a situation where okay, maybe once she don't have her kids around this person. I'm not saying that that's what this per- person did. I don't know the situation behind this person, yeah. but just speaking generally, like you wouldn't want to be in a situation where maybe you at the crib yeah, and yeah. somebody can pull up at any point in time, and you know the tendencies of your of your baby daddy. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying that you could put somebody's life at risk. No, I'm not saying that that person did that, but in most cases that I've seen, that's what the situation be, yeah, yeah. and it's it's better to you know what I'm saying just be transparent because. No. Uh, for sure Everybody life is there no, that, Have you ever Have you ever been In a situation like that Like I know you ain't Got no kids But you've been In a situation Where you, nigga you- I've been in a situation <laughs> Like that Listen so here's The situation So it wasn't really Like that But it was kind of Like that yeah. So I was I was messing With this shawty yeah. And it was It was so weird Like I pull up on her For Thanksgiving right Yeah And she going to go Pick up her son Now she She, didn't, she told me Oh this is just her Um Baby daddy grandma house He ain't gonna be there Type shit yeah. So I'm like okay cool I pull up <laughs> Man, I, mean, well, I didn't pull up Cause at the time I didn't know how to drive yeah. So she pulled up I'm sitting in the car bro yeah. And 
Nigga come out. Nigga like 6, 3, <laughs> 2, 40. Like, Tall nigga and shit. I ain't had no blick on me. So it was like, <laughs> like at, at this point, if, if if even best case scenario, I catch the fade with the hands, I'm yeah. probably going to get fucked up. <laughs> so I'm, I'm already playing the, the scenario out in my head. And the whole time they talking, he just keep looking in the car. Yeah. And the whole time I'm, I, 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 I can't. I, I'm going through this like mental game of do I just grim this nigga the whole time <laughs> yeah, just so he know that I ain't no sweet. Pussy, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or do I like avoid eye contact? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just to get the fuck up through. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So I was, I did the former, right? I mean yeah. the, the latter, right? I'm like just looking at the nigga the whole time, yeah. and she and she gets caught. Keep talking back. She keep holding him, yeah. like to like no no no, it's cool. Just my friend, blah blah, all this other stuff. Yeah, yeah. And then I get in the car. I'm like I'm like. Yo, and then I started putting a lot of shit together. I'm like, nigga, you got me on, nigga. I was on on Mac and oh, like shit. and, and yeah. grass shit. I'm oh, like, yeah. bro, what yeah. the fuck? Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, bro, you got me in somebody else's hood. I, I'm not, like, I'm not an East Sider by any stretch of imagination. So mm-hmm. I, I, I only know the streets and shit, but I don't. Yeah, be he said like, Mac and grass shit. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm like. Well, I, yeah, I don't know where it was. Yeah, they probably don't even cross that. My dumb ass. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. I don't know the East Side at all, bro. Yeah, duh. But I know. I, I remember seeing Mac. So maybe I just got. Oh yeah, you if you on Mac? Then you in the wrong area, nigga. For not <laughs> exactly, bro. And I'm going. I'm just going to go pick up the whole situation. And she, he, the whole time she getting the car, she's like, she's like, yeah. And she was so calm about it. She's like, yeah, well, yeah. He was just like upset. He just kept asking who you were and all yeah. this other stuff. And I just told him that we're just friends and everything. So you had nothing. To worry about, I wasn't gonna. I was like, you wasn't gonna like, like Duh. you didn't tell me the situation. Exactly. Like, let, the let me know what we what we like, just leading to. Like, shit. you should forewarn somebody, or you should just not just wait to have pick me up no. after you had got your kids, For so that sure. way I ain't gotta like be in the situation where worst case scenario I get my ass. Yeah, best yeah. case scenario I get my ass. Be worst case scenario I potentially. Yeah. Get, you know, Hell yeah. Scared. I was in situations like, like that too. I didn't even know it, but you know, back then when you younger, you just. A girl asked you to come through. You just trying to think about, hey, I'm gonna go fuck. Like, yeah, type shit. Bet. Like, and I'm staying with my mama, so like, all right, bet this bet is even better, nigga. Right. I ain't gotta sneak you in the crib. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I go over there and shit, dog. Not even pay attention to to the red flags that that do live here and shit. I'm just trying to focus on that. Then wind up fucking it all, dog. Get back to the crib. My home girl, who I used to kick it with, was like, yeah, you know she married, right? I'm like, she married. So I hit what? you. I hear about you married. So like, yeah. I'm like, dog, why you had me come over there? Like, this nigga could legit kill me, nigga. You his wife. Bro, like, I oh, had you on some full R. Kelly yeah, trap in the closet. Dog, shit. and I would have been under that bitch. Like, like trying to wait, <laughs> nigga. Like, damn, I'm, I, I'm trying to avoid the fight, nigga. Fuck that. And you coming. I'm in your territory, nigga. I'm in your home court advantage. You coming this bitch. You know, with pistol, with everything. Nigga. Everything, bro. You might have it on you. Type shit. Like, nigga. Cause <laughs> That, and that'd be the thing, man. People don't. People always like. I, I feel like people don't understand, and it's not on some sexist shit. But women be having a lot of power over niggas' lives, <laughs> like, and, and and don't be like be playing super clueless. Like yeah. that's a situation. Like what you just explained is a very dangerous situation, bro. Like somebody walk Hell in. Yeah. If I if I walk in and. I, and I see my wife with a whole nother dude. Uh, I'm immediately everything that you see is yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. You, you gonna black out, and next thing you gonna wake up on some Dexter shit. You know nigga, what I'm saying? My like, thing is, ain't no, ain't no disrespect. Like that's the ultimate disrespect right there. That dog. is like, in the house too. Even because they she like, oh, we going through some. I don't give a fuck what y'all going through. Y'all still living together. Type shit. Y'all still ain't divorced, nigga. Like that nigga walk in, nigga is a rap, nigga. Like on no, all of us, nigga. <laughs> We facts. all just been dead, nigga. Like, all because I want some pussy, nigga. I'm 20 years old, nigga, trying to fuck. Because yeah. I ain't fucking on the regular. So, I'm just, any pussy that's in my face, nigga, I'm trying to obtain that, nigga. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's about, about any means necessary. <laughs> Hell yeah, like, nigga. Anybody, nigga, for real. But, dog, you speaking of people having kids, like, nigga, when you gonna be cute to dead? Oh, man. <laughs> Like, like, do you, you think about, I get that question so often? It's, you think like, about that shit? I think about it a lot. I, I mean, a part of me wants to have a kid yeah. like soon because I I, I want to be able to bust my son ass in basketball <laughs> and shit like that. But like outside of like um, outside of that, I also realize that what comes with kids is a lot of responsibility. No, for sure. And and you can't be selfish when you have a kid. You know, know what I'm saying? And I think that in this rap shit. That and in this like life that I'm chasing, mm-hmm. 
I have to be selfish mm. in order to get to where I need to go. Now, some people who don't, and they 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 are still able to make it. But being selfish helps you. You know what I'm saying? Make the best decisions for you, mm. and you then you can then make the decisions. I'd rather be in a position where I'm already like on that path to where like. I feel solidified enough yeah. and then I can have a child yeah. and then like be able to care take the, for the child to the best of my ability versus like trying to chase this goal and knowing that I'd be sacrificed I'm already sacrificing like t my personal time for sure. Hell shit. Yeah. Hell so it's yeah. like if I'm if I'm sacrificing that now like I can't do that with the kid yeah. be like nah fuck this kid I gotta go to the studio and drop sure. some shit you know what I'm saying I can't do that yeah. you know so so I, and I see people who have kids like and they do this music shit and they hold like they, they become so consumed but they can't now, as they should, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But it take away from the music. It, it take away from and the music. Vice versa. Yeah, and 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 I don't want to be the person like like looking back in my life like, damn, if I only would have like I, I hate being sitting in conversations when people be saying like, oh, if I would, I'm like, no, I don't want to be that person. So yeah. so because of that, yeah, I, I, cue the dad is gonna be <laughs> is on is being postponed until For further sure. notice. Hell yeah, hey, ain't no rush. You got to find the motherfucking right woman and shit. You know what and saying? You know, so listen to the music. You still Playboy and shit. You know, you know what, what I'm saying? saying? Listen, man. Listen, man. I, it, it, the 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 game is the game, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sure. And, and that's another thing too. Like I feel like I I feel like I I'm ready, like mentally, yeah. but I'm not ready, like yeah. actually to be able. No, to, for sure. No, that, that shit come with a lot, dog. That shit come with a lot. Like you said, you don't want to sacrifice one for the other and shit. And then you know, because now you're wasting your time with the music because you can't really be all into it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And then with your kid, you don't want to be all into the music. Then you ain't got time to go to his motherfucking games and you know what I'm saying? Be there for his first walk and talk and all that shit. Dog. Type shit. Yeah, so like, I, I at least want to be on so I can have the kids with me while I'm on tour and shit like that. For so sure. they can see that shit. Hell you know, yeah. So. Cause I was talking to my bro last night, my little brother dog, mm -hmm. cause he about to have his uh first kid. He he be Congrats like, to him. Hell yeah, he, he about to be thirty one, so he waited some time. Mm -hmm. I think that's the right time, shit. Fuck it. Yeah. I was twenty and shit. I was young as this bitch. I just I could say I was trying to fuck nigga, so I got the first girl pregnant. <laughs> 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 Didn't know how to use my dick, nigga. Uh, like, <laughs> shout out to my nigga Shy, nigga. My <laughs> but uh he about to have his first kid And it's crazy bro Cause our parents Both our mom and dad Passed away Right And then His girl Both her mom passed away Mom and dad passed away mm -hmm. So I was like Damn your grandma Gonna be super excited Cause this is her First grandkid and shit You know what I'm saying Her daughter passed And all that junk So I, that's why I ask you Like how important Was your parents to you Dog growing up I know you college educated All that shit dog You know what I'm saying You and your brother Both success, successful At what y'all do how, would, how did y'all parents Play a role in y'all life And how y'all are now Oh, definitely, like, they play a major role, right? Like, yeah. like, I grew up in a in a household where we went to church like six times a week. Bro. <laughs> it's not even a joke. I went, <laughs> like we no for real. Like apostolic Pentecostal people, they they all can attest to this. Like mm -hmm. it's Sunday morning, it's Sunday morning service. Then you got Sunday evening service. You got Monday night prayer. You got Wednesday Wednesday night Bible study. You got Friday night Saints meeting. You got Saturday morning prayer. Dang. That's it was like like clockwork. So I spent like seventy one percent of the week. In church, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying. So, 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 with that, it's like, like being you have that the dichotomy, and then you also have the dichotomy of like also growing up in the hood, right? Yeah, so yeah. it's like there were certain things I wasn't able. I mean, I mentally didn't do because of the way I was raised. Mm -hmm. Like, I was raised to be an individual. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, and, and be an individual thinker. So, like, because of that, my because of the challenge of that, and my being raised in this Christian household, this certain change. I could have been, I could have been the blood. I could have done all this other shit. But that was like, that was not, that was not me. And I sure. knew that that wasn't the core of me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So because because I knew that, like, I just like I was being able to be raised to be genuine and be me you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying and being in a household with like 11 other siblings you yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying like that type of lifestyle it gives you the opportunity to like be like mold yourself into yourself and not be molded into what everybody else so like yes do I have some elements of me that's very like like um, foundationally Christian absolutely do yeah. I also have some parts of me that is like me being up, growing up in 4824 Joy Row you know what I'm saying like shit like that like yeah that yeah. also is in me too so it's like being able to manage all of those different yeah but things. you got the best of both worlds yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah absolutely yeah. And, for sure and, and that's the thing too like my, my parents they were like really big on like a lot of different things yeah. like school 
religion, sport. They was big on all these different things, and they really would push you and be honest with you if you wasn't doing what you need to do. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Shout out to mom and dad and shit, man. Hell yeah, man. For real. You say up in the church. I know you found some little church freaks up in that mud. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) You 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 know what's so crazy? You know what's so crazy? Real life, real life, holy, real the holy field. I, I have never bag a yeah. girl in church. Oh, for real? Oh, never. Shit, yeah. so you know never, you be hearing the stories about the, the girls in church be, you know what No, I'm they be that way for sure, but it's never, I never, all right, let me say this. I never been in church, talked to a girl, and then bagged her mm-hmm. and been on that type of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I just felt like, I don't know, I, to me, and, and me knowing how messy the church is, I just yeah. wouldn't want to be on that type of time. For sure. You know hell yeah. But, but I've, I've heard the stories. <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah, man. Shout out to the church girls, the last stuff, man. We love you. We love you. <laughs> <laughs> love you, love you to death. Hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> now, dog, last time, uh, last time you was on the show was back in November last year. Mm-hmm. Shit, what changed for you, if anything, musically and personally, dog? Like anything changed since then? It ain't been a year, but no shit I mean, was last no, year. but it's a, it's a. It's, I feel like my, like musically, like and which is like I know we are gonna talk about boy music. Oh yeah, hell, but yeah, like, hell yeah, hell yeah. But like I think I've become more introspective in my music, mm-hmm. and I feel like I've also like I I know what. I want to like. I feel like I've since then become even more polished in in tonality and Mm -hmm. and intentionalness. So like, I feel like that's changed, and I feel like also just understanding that like everything is a process, Mm -hmm. right? Like, I feel like like the last time I was kind of hinting around that, but I feel like I really understand that, right? Like, like. I can now, like, at that time, I used to, like, when I see other people in Detroit that's blowing up, mm-hmm. I would just have to scroll past it because it made me stressed <laughs> yeah, out. No, you know sure. what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I'd be like, fuck, that's not me. Like, you know what I'm saying? i scroll up. But now I feel like now I can be like, okay, my process is going to be my process, and yeah. their process is their process. Like, some yeah. people might get it before you. Some other people might get it after you. Some some people might have it bigger than you at one point. Yeah. But if you just keep going and keep going the course, like, that's the whole thing. So, so yeah, I think that's the, the, the biggest thing. But outside of that, man, like, the grind is been the same like mm-hmm. i've still record like crazy like i like between november i would say november and now i probably recorded like over 400 songs Damn. <laughs> like, yeah like like i mean like, all last year total i recorded like 1200 songs last year it's kind of crazy oh, crazy yeah, yeah man yeah. I, I be I, I like this music stuff is like really 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 serious for yeah. me so like a lot of people be like oh the music serious like no like the music like, is like serious yeah, was- like i, I I, you know what I'm saying I live out the way I live in, I live like Three hours away And I be in the city Every weekend yeah. On some music shit so. Hell yeah Hell yeah dog and, and shit And you had said earlier About strolling past shit I was just telling him Not too long ago I'm, I'm tired of congratulating niggas I wouldn't <laughs> be the one to be You know what I'm saying nah, okay, like, and no, let, me, let, me, let me get some time To tell you something bro Good. Like this is like God on the strip bro For Ain't sure. nobody fucking with you In this podcast oh, shit man, bro I appreciate that like, like, And that's real shit bro And I feel like Like I know you You probably not getting The flowers right now In the oh, very moment nah. But I'm telling you you keep going the course and keep going that path this, doing this path bro your skills the way y'all interview the way is so like clean organized and tactical and surgical in every single regard like i feel like it's only a matter of time you know and that's what happens right like this like some people just wait, have to wait a little longer than others sure. but you, i'm telling you yeah, ain't yeah. nobody i watch podcasts galore that's all like i do three hour drives every weekend so that's oh, yeah. all i Hell fucking yeah. You can do is listen to podcasts. <laughs> yeah, like, sure. like, you know, get tired of listening to music. You dog. get tired of getting listening to music after like twenty minutes. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So like, like when I say I'm a, a a podcast aficionado, like I feel like I am, and I feel like I fuck with y'all podcasts more than anybody else. For sure, y'all do it. it the right way. Y'all y'all organize. Y'all yeah, do yeah. y'all research. Y'all do everything. Right? Yeah, because so. like you see too many niggas who I, I'm, I'm quite sure you see that shit with rap. Niggas just pick the mic up and shit, pause. Yeah, bro. <laughs> and just be like, just talk some bullshit. With me, I might like, everything is gotta be it gotta be right though. When yeah. you bring somebody on, I hate when niggas bring a person a person on don't know shit about them and right. you learn about him on the fly. When Facts. they could have came on the show, you already know that shit. Now y'all gonna have a better conversation because he gonna respect you for knowing about him and doing the research on them. Type you know shit. What I'm and, and and nobody nobody like I, I feel like as an artist, you can tell when somebody yeah. don't know about you. Yeah. And and when you get the so who are you type yeah. questions. Yeah. Dog, and I hate just, that just, 
shit, were like, dog. well, okay, I guess <laughs> I'll go through the, the beginning of the, exactly. like, in the beginning, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. Like, nah, like, y'all really have tailored orient. Like, nobody do it like y'all, which is why I know that, like, I have full confidence yeah. that y'all are going to be, like, Man, one of the biggest podcasts. Try it, dog. My thing is, the one, I want to see this podcast be the spot that if you in Detroit, if you out of Detroit, whenever you come here, whenever you got something going on, you got to come. Type time. You know what I'm saying? That's why as soon as I see you at a project before you, hey, nigga, come on. Like, yeah, man, and you know I appreciate saying? that, man. I was gonna hit y'all up anyway because, yeah, yeah. like, I feel like I don't, I don't, I've been, in, I've been interviewed in many of pla- platforms before, and I apologize for people that have been interviewed me before, but I just feel like this is my favorite place yeah. to be interviewed. Like, cause like, nigga, and then niggas just attack. Like, my thing is, cause I just go off of how I am, and maybe that's selfish, selfish thinking, but I want to know about the person before we jump into the music. Right. So I want to know little shit, you know what I'm saying? Growing up, little shit that you like, little shit that you do, cause I hate when niggas be like, so you got motherfucking boy me world come out. That's the first question like damn nah, <laughs> so now the interview gonna be over because after you talk about that then what it's like you gotta break that shit down like i guess that come from me coaching too like just breaking shit down and all that stuff dog. you coach yeah hell yeah matter of fact i can say it now shit i'm about to be the varsity coach at, uh for girls at Jalen rose oh that's what's up man mm-hmm. basketball Yep, yep. That's I've been coaching uh, girls middle school and boys for the last shit. My son eight, so eight years. Oh man! So, and it came about on some random shit, bro. I'm just going there for New Era Detroit. Jalen Rose. I talked to the high school coach, not knowing he had AD. Next thing I know, two weeks later, he like, nigga, I want you to come coach my girls. Like, damn, I ain't even. Like, damn, all right. that's what's up, like, bro. Fuck you. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I seen their record last year was five and twelve, so I got some shit to do. <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm like, they pull my school, and you got Jalen Rose in that motherfucker, and the graduation rate is. High as hell, yeah. everybody go off to college for the most part who graduate the school. So it's like, fuck it, nigga. You you gonna get a coaching job with Jalen Rose? That nigga gonna be like, y'all go on ESPN <laughs> and do some <laughs> analytics with me, man. Hey, man no, I also, because the only reason I went down there on some real shit to try to get Jay Rose and then do uh, Zeke from New Era to come on the podcast, mm-hmm. not knowing that shit gonna turn into an opportunity for me. And it's because of him, because he like, nigga, you should go. And at the time, I ain't, shit, I ain't, I'm being real, nigga. I'm like, nigga, I'm, shit, I pay bills. I'm broke right now. And nigga, send me twenty five for some gas and shit. They got me a coaching job. So thanks to uh, mm-hmm. Big. Q and she yeah, producer Q and shit. That's, oh, that's what I'm talking about, man. Yeah, that's yeah. love. Yeah, for sure. Shout out to Q, man. Yeah, for sure, man. All, all good Qs in this motherfucker. Yeah, dog. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you can't go wrong with being a Q, man. Now, dog, you um, you do got the project Boy Meets World, and that's the title and shit. It's like three parts and shit. Yep. And my, my man can sing a little bit too, man. Hold a little note and shit, dog. Yeah, I was like, yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But dog, when you think about Boy Meets World, like, how was it for you when you was like? Faced with real life shit Cause I know You you uh Motherfucking Left a job Making g- some good money You know what I'm saying Money a niggas dream about making Appreciate To take a chance that. and shit dog Staying with you So you, in the song You say you staying with your brother In the basement with centipedes and shit Yeah man <laughs> Listen Centipedes really used to fall bro <laughs> Nigga it, it became so normal That like I'd be I like I'd be talking to my girl Like you know what I'm saying In the basement And shit would fall And I'd just be like this And just continue <laughs> conversation Like Like it used to be time where like I used to see them crawl like I'd be knee deep in some cooch <laughs> and i see them crawl and i have to keep their heads like oh, it's right there. Hell yeah. don't look over there type sure. time like but no nah, but yeah like I feel like with Boy Meets World like I feel like with this it's a little bit more, it's a way <laughs> different project than any other project ever came out mm-hmm. with because it's way more personable I was actually talking to my friend he said this is my scorpion you know what I'm yeah, saying for for sure, the, like, for like sure. where it's just like I just put out like how I feel and mm-hmm. very raw Mm. Like music mm. And if the world Take to it cool yeah. But if they don't I'm also okay with that Because it's like It's made It's more so I just wanted to have A, a tape that kind of Encapsules mm. Like who, who Or encompass who I am You know yeah. what I'm saying Like And I feel like That tape definitely does Like it's like There's the 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 I'm rich not Cause this it Like yeah, this yeah, part book, of this yeah, Book one yeah. yeah the book one I'm rich not Like that part for me Was like like it, it's a hold, lot. hold on real quick This nigga Hey This nigga Just performed at a spot and He had on some hoop shorts A motherfucking football jersey And, and some shoes That was like five, six thousand nigga. Yeah that's facts <laughs> That's facts bro That's why I hit that's that nigga, nigga Like them bro Cut out <laughs> Yeah bro I had the whole uh, the, the, the chrome heart joint So yeah he ain't yeah. lying About that shit dog You nah. know what I'm saying That nigga fit, Hey this This right here nigga, uh, Six dollars for Walmart Nigga <laughs> <laughs> 
What's that, dog? <laughs> so silly, but go ahead. You was talking about uh, book one, Rich Now. Yeah, I, I feel like with that book, it was more so like, <clears throat> like I feel like I, I, I've been making six figures since I was 18, but a lot of those years I was still broke because I had bad spending habits, right? Mm-hmm. So, like, I feel like <clears throat> with this was like a lot of like, oh, shit, like I'm actually seeing, like I'm talking about my path to getting where I am, but also like I also in the midst of that is also experiencing and enjoying the the the, the perils of having money mm-hmm. and what that comes with but then you see in like the last song lost cherry where it's just like <clears throat> you start seeing past the material shit mm-hmm. and you start realizing like man people just gonna either ask you for money you got all this material shit but yeah. what is that like and then you start realizing you ain't really rich for real when she once sure. you start like really doing the math on shit and like you start seeing how people with that come from generational wealth like how they move like i know people who make fifty thousand dollars forty thousand thirty thousand dollars a year who be having like eighty ninety a yeah. hundred thousand dollars in their bank account and then it's like you know what i'm saying like i i've been making over six figures since i was 18 yeah. And like I, like for a big part of that, I was broke. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Sure. So yeah, it's yeah. like, so like those type of things. Like you start realizing, like, oh shit, like money. Like I, I thought that I was rich, but like, am I really rich? No, for sure. And Let me ask you this though: you, you were making that at a young age. What if you had started making that? Like, what if you was those years was like how a typical 18, 19 year old nigga is is broke? But, what if you start making that money later on in life? Do you think you still would did the rap shit, or you would have been like, all right, bet I'm, I'm, I'm good with this? Like, was it better for you to make that money? And do that shit early on to figure out what you want to do in life, and, t- and instead of getting it later, you know, when you're 30, and bet this is my life now. See, I, that's a good question. I think um, I would have chased rap regardless because that was my passion. Mm-hmm. There was times where I could have just stopped. Like I know a lot of people who rap because of what it can do for them, mm-hmm. and then when they get some money, they stop because it was just like it was, was a, it. what it was what they would. It was the, the rap shit was a matter of what it can do for them more so than the passion. Mm-hmm. It's never been the case for me. Yeah. Like I would rather. <clears throat> Honestly, I'd rather make like not do anything and make forty, fifty thousand dollars a year off of music mm. than to do something and and let's make six hundred thousand, but it's not rap. Yeah, you for know sure. what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. because I, I just feel like I love rap that much. So like mm. that end of it, probably not. But I will say that like I do think that I I, I feel like I appreciate going through those cycles of. That because if I would have did that when I was older, mm-hmm. and I probably would have ex- made the bad decisions later. Yeah, you know yeah what I'm true, saying? true, true. Like, and making the bad decision later is way different. Being f- fiscally irresponsible, like, at, 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 as you matriculate, and let's say I wanted to have like kids, whatever the case may be, or something like that, like, like, or just you know, like when you have a girl, like, and she sees that you're fiscally ir- irresponsible, yeah, 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 that's yeah, a whole yeah. different <laughs> bag that you just got to deal with. And For I just, sure. you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Now, book two. You know what I'm saying? Lover Boy. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's when he got a single bag. You know, you know I see you did the little uh, sample from Jamie Foxx. Yeah. This shit, that shit, dog, that shit was hard. Like, I appreciate it. I ain't gonna lie, though. Like, the whole project, I feel like you one of the ones that should be getting talked about the city. I hate when, like, like you said earlier, dog, it's about who, who did sucking who. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? About who, who, who should we be trending and in, 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 in liking right now? Like, and like I say, I hate when, like, all right, say for instance, you, you coming out with a tape, you let somebody listen to it, they listen to it one time, put that bitch down. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't understand with new artists why you can't live with that shit like how you would live with a Drake or, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, so when you putting out music, are you kind of, like, frustrated because you not in that rotation of being, you know what I'm saying, talked about like these other motherfuckers? <sighs> That's a good question, man. This is why I love being on the podcast. <laughs> Y'all always ask the best questions, man. Um, I would say this. I would say, like, um... Is it frustrating? Is is it frustrating? I, I think the frustration is more so like I want this success yeah. so bad, and I put so yeah, much yeah. energy. Like like the thing that people don't understand. This tape was like two to three years in the making, right? Yeah. So imagine like going through twelve hundred songs, right? Twelve really like over the course of two to three years, that's like fourteen, fifteen hundred songs, right? Go imagine going through fourteen, fifteen hundred songs, mm-hmm. right? And and you put all this work into it. You spent all like like that's fourteen. That's like fourteen, <laughs> fifteen hundred like hours yeah. of yeah. studio. Yeah. 
whole time. That ain't free. You know, that ain't free. <laughs> that's shooting videos. That's all this other shit. You doing all this like just to chase the opportunity for people to ch- to hear your music. Mm-hmm. You put this time together. Like like I what I do. I put like I have people come in when we do the cuts and shit mm-hmm. like that. And I like pay for food. Pay like make it an experience for them to actually listen it and feel a part of it. The whole situation and do all this just so like <laughs> you know what I'm saying a small group of people like it be like that is the frustrating part that's what it's I say listen to your shit one time it, if it's hard or not you put it down and going back to your typical normal shit type shit you know what I'm like, saying and like like and the thing about it is too, I let a couple people listen to it, right? And another thing that's so hard is like when you drop something that's different that people are not gonna be accustomed. I yeah. feel like Room Three Twenty Nine and the Cuta Boy Show are mm-hmm. like relatively similar in the sense of like mostly just like bangers with a little bit of personal touch to it. Yeah. I feel like this one was like a lot of personal touch mm-hmm. and like there's a few bangers on there, right? And I feel like because of that, I feel like people are like this was a cool listen I'm not gonna listen to it again which is fair fine but I feel like in this project I mean even if it doesn't do well I I have to get out of the mindset of I like the intention is for me to sell millions right Mm -hmm. like even though that is the intent I I have to be like put out music that I want to put out and keep my integrity as an artist for sure so like that's what I feel like I do when I drop when I drop that was being more um, keeping staying um, uh, aligned with my genius. Yes, because yeah, I I love listening to new music and getting you know what I'm saying new shit. That it ain't the every day. Okay, we wait for the same old couple niggas to drop and shit. Cause my wife be like, "How you find this person?" Nigga, I search. My, yeah, <laughs> like my thing is, if you paying for Apple or Title, why not on Fridays go? Search mm-hmm. new music and shit. Like my wife listens to the same shit. Like goddamn, I'm, how how many times are you gonna listen to this old ass Jeezy nigga? Like I love Jeezy, but <laughs> <laughs> she loves that motherfucker. Uh, this, this, what's that Jeezy album? Church in the Streets. I'm like, come on, man. Can we look a Jeezy drop about five, six projects at the world? Oh my god. And that's just me. I just love listening to new music, bro. Like in the city, I listen to a lot of niggas, dog. It's some good. It's some. It's some. It's some great ones. Like as a whole, Detroit. This is the best music that has, has ever been. Mm-hmm. But then you got some people. I'll be like, dog. Why is they as I don't, I don't get it. Like then, I, like I said, your project is is a man. It's a smooth ride. Especially I can see some shit like you know what I'm saying. Ride down eight miles and shit. Just you know what I'm saying. Got a little buzz and shit. That's my test. That's how you know a tape is good. If I'm listening to it going down eight miles from the east to the west, and I'm a little drunk. Yo, I, I feel like you, that's some good ride music. You know right, what I'm saying? Appreciate that. Appreciate that. <laughs> but with this shit though, reflection. You got the one song Drake. Mm. How you feel that Drake lost that battle though? Like, I know this guy was <laughs> I knew this question was coming. Because it do. He a Drake fan. Because uh, I'm, I'm OBO reps up till I die, man. Till I die. Type you, shit. Cause my thing is this. We, right off your project, real quick though. Mm-hmm. Drake got Drake. Like the way Kendrick, he just, he just, he, he threw that fishing rod out there, and just like wheeled it in real slow. You know what I'm saying? Just took his time with it. It's like when you cook a great meal. Like you, can, Drake just came in that bitch on some instant potatoes, and that nigga just like. <laughs> <laughs> listen, man. No, here y'all go with the home cooking. Be, listen, I, you want to know my god honest opinion about well, the whole situation? Bro. I hope you're gonna be honest about I'm it. I'm gonna though. be honest. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not one to lead with delusion. Mm-hmm. Uh, I do. I mean, I do acknowledge. That I can see why people visually say Drake lost. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Right, like this, that would be it, like on every et- metric and aspect. Okay, I can see that. Yeah, I think that there's context to the situation that should be acknowledged. All right, talk like, to me. <laughs> you are not gonna win. It's very hard to win a battle mm-hmm. uh, when you try to dig on people's feeling of being a bridge mm-hmm. in a culture. Mm-hmm. I feel like that was the leverage that Kendrick had, like being foundational, a black American, mm-hmm. like using that to yeah, his advantage. For sure, for you know sure. what I'm saying? Yeah. I think that when you also call somebody a pedophile, there's that, no that, yeah. coming back. <laughs> there's sure. no like even like if you call somebody a wife beater, that's like like societal. Mm-hmm. Like we can forgive someone mm-hmm. who like 
may be a domestic violence. I don't yeah. think he really did. I don't think. I don't think they want to. I don't think they want to. Was just, but, some shit that they just said. Just a, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. But I do think that yeah, that that the whole situation with itself, like and Drake. I feel like my personally, I think strategy wise, he could have did a little. He shouldn't have been like super like yeah, I'm about to drop, I'm about yeah, to press the red yeah, button. Yeah. But I do think that like with all that's being said, like all jokes aside, mm-hmm. real truth, I do feel like Family Matters was the best. No, out of the whole that, that shit was hard. But and then like I said, I think it was better than the response that Kendrick gave. But it's just the way Kendrick came like five minutes later with Meet the Grams. Yeah, yeah it's like dog, you all right? You about to blow the internet up for a hot second? But watch this, bam, right there. And it was a bunch of lies too. Yeah, like, and then what, uh, right after that, you drop a club banger the yeah, next yeah. day. Not, not like that's not. I, here's, I ain't gonna lie. I had, I had, I had the scorecard going. Drake was up. I felt like even after Meet the Grams, I'm like, yeah. what the fuck is this yeah. cynical ass shit? Yeah. I was like, oh yeah, this is Drake is up. I'm comfortable. And the thing I like about I that, heard okay, not okay. like us. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, <laughs> I heard it one time. I'm like, oh it's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, and then I saw every West Coast nigga yeah, oh crib god. walking. <laughs> <laughs> like yo, know and that's why I say he got Drake like doing this because Drake did that shit with back to back. He turned the song, a uh, diss song, to one of the most popular songs of the year. And yeah. the same thing Kendrick did with Not Like Us. Like back to back was like some shit. Like damn, like this bitch in the club, that bitch not made for a Grammy. Like you know what I'm saying? He just kind of got his, you know what I'm saying? That same car pulled a little bit. And there's a lot of the behind the scenes stuff yeah. going on. Like Spotify is definitely in yeah. on it. Well, like, so you know about that shit? I don't know about like, that. No, no, they're <laughs> like Spotify. Like Drake's the first person to ever get 100 billion streams, mm-hmm. right? And they didn't say anything. Like mm-hmm. not one thing about that. Or or they they put the, the way they playlist the whole situation like yeah. like you could kind of see that like Spotify is behind that for which sure. is fine like I, I I don't I don't hate on anything like that mm-hmm. I just think that there's there's definitely Drake is was in a twenty v one and yeah. he, he, no, he for got, sure. I feel like he for got sure. nineteen and one and I, see, you know what I'm saying I'm I not think, one of those dudes like you got people. Just because, okay, I'm more of a Kendra fan than Drake, but if Drake would have won, if I felt he would wrong, I would have said it. Yeah. That's like, niggas, you can't hate, like, I do. am I like the biggest Drake fan? No. Do he make good music? Yes. Like, I hate when niggas hate, like, on LeBron, like, oh, man, fuck LeBron. Like, you know he one of the greatest, if not the greatest basketball player of all time. Now, if you don't like him, then cool. But don't be delusional and say he not, like, he not that. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? But you did say something. You know I do my research all the time, man. You know, on, on uh, Facebook, you may have posted as a rapper, this Kendrick slash Drake beef helped me realize I need to get myself back in the booth yeah. because the bars out of this beef are next level. I need Facts. to catch up real quick. Facts. So you, that helped you, like, I don't need to become a better person? Oh, man. What? The the Michael Jackson scheme on, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> on um, Family Matters, mm-hmm. to me, was like, like the whole, oh, shit. Is that making sense? Maybe I'm pushing you actually, Mike. Mike was playing Future Chains. He make doing features for Chains, so he would. Th- people think he actually right. My, uh, he didn't say top gonna make you do feature for chains, get on power records and rap for the whites and wait. You say your brother Jermaine, <laughs> and you want him to stay out of the oh, light like yeah. Jermaine, yeah, like, Jay, Jane, yeah. like Jazz, <laughs> Jermaine Jackson, then yeah. Jermaine J. Cole, yeah. and then like the whole features, like actual like physical yeah, features, yeah, and yeah. then like actual like pop features that like Kendrick. I thought that that whole scheme was cool. I thought that I thought that uh, Kendrick, the way that he like not like us, there was a lot of bars in there, yeah. even like there was a lot of like little like like they were they what i really appreciate about their artistry is that they were super um intentional about every yeah. top to For bottom sure. line For and sure. i think that For you sure. when you get to that level I, in a beef i don't think i would ever got, have gotten to that level but now if i go into a beef i'm gonna get to that Hell level. yeah shit cute beef and shit nigga. <laughs> Facts, man. but then I'm, and, I'm, and, I'm, and i'll meet the grounds the thing i like about that because meet the grounds is kind of like a song like come here man let me, let me talk to you man have a seat yeah, yeah, like, it, was, like, it was very <laughs> it was very much so like intervention yeah. type it was good though i like i, I like it was the first time we had like a, a, a a rap battle that niggas was dropping songs every other day. Man, what? Like back in the day, it was like niggas, like niggas don't understand. Nas responded to Jay Z months later. Yeah. <laughs> if that was in today's world, um, Ether would be like, man, you waited too long, nigga. Fuck that. E- no matter how hard it was, niggas would be like, man, you waited too long. Facts. You know what I'm saying? And that's like the kind of like the shit with social media kind of fuck. Uh, Drake really set that precedent. Yeah, exactly. With the whole back to back. Wait four days, nigga. Where y'all at? <laughs> now you said something that um I I totally disagree with. Oh man. Tell me why you think uh, CLB is a top three Drake album. Oh yeah, it really is. 
is though. <laughs> like here's here's why. Cause I think in my mind is the top three would go nothing was the same. Take care of CLB. Okay. And I think CLB was uh, it was like a lot of Drake sounds combined into one. Yeah. I think. It was the most polished Drake sound. Yeah. I think all the features on there, there was no bad features on there. Yeah. I think um, it's a clean listen through. Yeah. I think um, if you talk about like some of his best work from mm. a songwriting perspective, mm. intro, outro perspective, like I don't think that there's a lot of people that, um, I don't think that there's a lot of Drake albums that has that like intenseness the whole time like I felt like it was it was a combination of so yeah. many different albums and when it kind of similar like I think Four Out of Dolls was like that mm-hmm. but I think that CLB was the best version of that right. so do you uh, count what's name as a, as an album or just, uh, So Far Gone so far, yeah, because mine is so far gone. Take care, and nothing was the same. See, so far gone. I feel like a lot of people feel like so far gone. I feel like a lot of times it's like not more nostalgia than anything. Yeah. But like n- n- so far gone, honestly, is not in my top five. Damn, for real? Nah, Damn. because that was- <laughs> man, that's not offense to Jake. I just feel yeah, like that I, was my like, shit. Like that's the one with Uptown, right? Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. I, 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 I fuck with up. To, I fuck with all those things, but I feel like in the moment, I feel like a lot of times people are attached to those yeah. the moments that. And happen you know what? Though. It's crazy that every time I listen to that project, it, it, it take me back to a time, man. Yeah, it take me back to a crazy fucking time that me and my son, and mom, about to break up. We were staying in the studio apartment, so when you got got mad, I went to the bathroom, took a bath and shit, <laughs> and I listened to that album, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like so maybe maybe because that that, that That's album what I'm yeah. yeah like like I feel like people like a, a, a earlier take care and earlier yeah. a lot of people are super attached to that because yeah. our generation was yeah. like so impressionable yeah. at that time to where like when you listen into that and it was like like a, a key point before we transition into streaming mm-hmm. so sure. it's Hell like, yeah. like Hell we, yeah. we built an attachment to those yeah. but that being said though like I feel like yeah I feel like I, I, I think I like um, I like there's a couple albums. I, I feel like Scorpion's a top five. Yeah. I feel like Views is undoubtedly a top five. So Views was are, something I had to go back home and start and like. Oh like, yeah, it's yeah. it's better when you go back to it. Yeah, oh, for sure. It's so for much. Sure. It was you can see why it went a million first week. Like yeah. it was really really good. But I, I do like the old Drake more than the new Drake. And a lot of people say that. You I, I feel like I, I I personally like because you you what you get to see and what I really like about Drake's career because you can you don't see this with any other artist mm-hmm. career. He's like the most transparent artist. Mm-hmm. You get to see the full development of mm-hmm. a of his life. Like, yeah. like this new rapper who's you know what I'm saying doing this stuff. Then they adjust to fame. Yeah. Then they become the top dog and have all these obstacles that come with being the top person and people trying to come for it. And then you have like he has you know. Like you, you have your not like us part where you have to see that, and now like I'm excited to see like oh shit, how he's gonna buy some black yeah, friends? Like no, I did because sure. people were like you know what I'm saying because he he also the the push of t shirt was a situation yeah. that he responded with Scorpion, so yeah. we'll see. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, man! Shout out to uh, motherfucker, all you good niggas, uh, <laughs> good rapping ass niggas. Yeah. <laughs> now on a couple of these tracks, man. Like I said, I went through it. I only got to get one listen to it because I didn't realize I can listen to it on title at the time. But you said some a couple of things though. You guys said some shit that kind of we talked about a little bit. You said uh, I would have been on if these niggas showed me, but I, uh, but I like it, but I like the longer route or something like that. I said. So I want owe him nothing. Yeah, I'll change uh, uh, Gotti. Talk about that, dog. Like, are you around niggas that you feel could put you in a better situation than you are? That's a good question. I, I feel like I am, but I feel like I'm not at the same yeah. time. I feel like I feel like the right now, like, the, and this is just my opinion. The city's like. Like if unless you know the people that's already on or you tapped in with the mm-hmm. underground like connectors to this shit, yeah. like it's 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 really a matter of that like you yeah, having a hit or not like it, it really be a matter of who you co-sign mm-hmm. by right no facts so so because it, since I understand that like I under like I I feel like I've seen people get opportunities because they 
and just how, bouncing back off the last <laughs> uh, interview, like dick sucking, like or 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 putting himself in the situation, which I should like, and, and not dick sucking, but I should be in the situation where I like I'm putting myself in better situations by putting mm. myself around other people. But I just felt like I wanted to like for me, I just always have this personal thing of being genuine, sure. and I don't want to be in a situation where it's not genuine and like it, it's accidental. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? But yeah. I feel like my brother Kurt, he has an opportunity to like do that. I think that that's why he chases a lot of stuff he does and do all, yeah. all the things in the music shit For sure. but I do also think that um I also think that like there's more that I have to do mm. and I and I take pride in being able to know that this is a process For sure. so like even though like I might not have it right now yeah, like yeah. I know it's gonna be there yeah Kurt uh, this is sex time coming on I'm still waiting for you to come on for your first time I, I'm a, uh, <laughs> listen I, 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 I'm a bring Kurt I'm a yeah. poor Kurt here him, right? and, uh, him and Rocky Bad though. oh yeah we gonna, we gonna set up. I don't, see I can't speak for Rocky Bad yeah, yeah for sure. that's brother I, you can speak for I bro can, I can speak for bro yeah, he gonna be on here now you said some know. shit dog uh, uh, I told that bitch you won't tell me you gotta pay me back <laughs> nah facts man because people don't like I feel like women they don't understand the opportunity cost of time bro like, oh my god yes. like, like they be like like for them they just think that time they, you know and I understand that like women's number one courtesy is attention for so sure. I understand that but in the same breath it's like bro the opportunity cost for me like hanging out with you is I could be making a money play yeah, I could yeah. be in the studio I could be shooting a video I could be doing all this other stuff so like if it, it, like like if you ain't on time, it, it'd be yeah. really irritating. Nah, for sure. Like, bro. Yeah. And then, yeah, and then you with her. The time I'd be fucked up because you think about the, the shit that you miss out on. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Especially if I missed out on if I if I go to the gram, I see I missed out on an opportunity because yeah. you want to kick it. Ooh. Yeah. And that's what I be telling my wife now. Like, listen, hey, you gotta go practice every day. You gotta do like, yes. Like you gotta at first, like she understand now. She like, damn, you've been consistent with this podcast. At first, yeah. she thought this shit was like a little hobby. Yeah. Like the first couple months, like you gotta do it another Sunday. Yes, nigga. <laughs> and, I, and and that's something I appreciate about what y'all do, man. That's why I have so much respect for y'all because y'all are consistent, bro. Man. You know something, and I, and I feel like maybe it's if it's not two o two, maybe yeah. two o five, whatever Hell the case yeah. may be, bro. Like I know that y'all gonna pop off because the work ethic and consistency yeah. it nigga, always pays off. It's just it's like you just can't put a timeline man, on. It. I get mad if shit don't like we can't do one. Like damn, like it's so okay. if he gotta go out of town for some shit. Like all right, well shit, nigga. Uh, how your Wednesday look, nigga? Like <laughs> before Time you go, time. or we gotta do it over the phone like last week. Shit, I did with old girl. Uh, she just came out with a two B series. She from Milwaukee. Oh, right. fuck, we about to do it uh virtually. Like nah, cause I feel like like I said with the music, if you miss out, dog. Hey, that nigga who consistent gonna go past you. Type shit. So you know what I'm saying? I, I see the, the other podcasts that be out here and stuff like that. And like you say, I'll be looking and thinking like, this shit ain't, I mean, it's cool, but nigga. They ain't fucking like, with you. Like, how the fuck, like, wow. Like, how my shit, like, I tell, I, I call this nigga all the time when I want to vent on Instagram instead of venting on Instagram, I vent to this nigga, like, nah, I talk shit about everybody. Like, nah, bro. And I, listen, I, I can join, I wish I could join the conversation, bro, because I be hating this shit too. And they be gatekeeping. Uh, it be so much gatekeeping going on in general. That's really what it be, bro. Yeah. I'm telling you, people be knowing the shit. That's the thing I learned too or since the last time we, like, did an interview. Mm. Niggas be knowing and Duh. niggas be, niggas be knowing and be aware. Mm hmm. And be, and but don't do shit. Yeah, but you gotta think about it, like, say if I'm aware and I know, and this this, this how I, I want to do this shit. But if I know you putting out twelve hundred songs in a year, and I put give you some type of uh, information, oh, this nigga gonna pass me up. That's how niggas be thinking. That, but the thing is, it's room at the top for all of us. That that no, be that. Sure. Like that, but niggas be thinking that it. Like, let me tell you something. Is there are like thirty different artists in Detroit right now that are like popping in their own way. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And uh, over 30, over, like, I would say, like, there's a top 100 artists, and, like, I feel like 70% of Detroit gonna know all of them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of the reasons, like, uh, and because they, they all got their own niche, they all got their own, like, way of delivery, all of that stuff, so mm -hmm. it's like, it's like, there's opportunity, there's room at the top, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? There's room at the table. Yeah. But niggas be, and I get it, people feel like they gotta safeguard their bag because they could lose it, but, like, yeah. there's a way where you could do that and not lose your bag or I feel like one this yeah. is what I pride myself in like I really truly truly feel like once I'm on I'm not gonna be on that type of time yeah. I'm I truly believe in lifting as you climb and I feel like
like a lot of these niggas like especially like it's nobody like not saying no it's nobody but on the west it's super gatekeeping no, for sure. like you know on the east side like a lot of the east side people they all know each other they all yeah. pulling each other up as they grow Hell yeah. but like the west side it's like it, it, it's super it's so gatekeeped that mm -hmm. it's like it's already kind of hard to break through and then like everybody already it's a whole bunch of politics and all that <laughs> shit but I don't be wanting I don't give a fuck about no like I never respected like hood politics yeah. at all which is probably like not a good thing but <laughs> like I just never respected it because I always thought it was lame yeah. uh, and and most niggas is rats yeah. like that's yeah. like yeah. that's the that's the whole thing it be, so, so. like niggas don't talk about that enough it'd be a lot of lame shit going on with Within the hood culture Oh 100% <laughs> There's so much lame shit going on Like And you just gotta You just have to play the role in it Like people be expecting you To take on they beefs yeah, yeah, That yeah. Like you know what I'm saying That I had nothing to do yeah, with yeah, Like you know what I'm saying Like that, 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 that shit don't have I now I done fucked up uh, I got like I, I'll tell you right now I probably have like Six seven different opportunities to, to advance more But I had to turn them down Specifically because Niggas The way they politic Yeah you know what I'm saying Might not align With the way I politic For sure Or like they're, They might got some Real like Crazy 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 Beef and situation That's like Life or death And I just got Family and shit That I gotta think about So it would be shit like that That I just Don't like Cause I'm more so A business person And a hustler Than like a street nigga You know what I'm saying So like I never really respect That type shit yeah, 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 I feel yeah. like people Should be able to Chase their bag Guilt free No for you know sure For sure For sure And then on, uh, on Confessional You had said I ain't turned 30 And still trying to get on Yeah Do you like Like is it like When you say that cause I know you want to Continue being music But like Is there a certain point Where you you ain't like Maybe going so hard Or some shit like that Or you coming down A little bit Nah I think When I made that I said that I, I, That song is about Like two years old Okay so there's some shit It was three years old it was, it was some shit I was It was like saying. the nigga Was saying he retire Every year and shit like Yeah that's like Drake That's like Drake Said he was gonna retire When he, yeah. when he was 35 Yeah I was yeah. like, I, like I, I'm not I'm not I'm never giving up This yeah. music shit Y'all Yeah so If niggas hear that And think that Like nah I'm yeah. never ever Giving this shit up I just think that I did I did feel like I do feel like By the time I wanna By the time I'm 30 I wanna at least be able to be like, I have came a long way, yeah. and I can see the visual success. Hell yeah, and that's and that and I, I'm I'm okay with that for sure for sure. On um, boy me real, you said uh, she want to be my only. She ain't bad enough. Like nigga, <laughs> what what what's gonna take for somebody a girl to like lock you down? Like what what do they gotta have? Feature wise Hustle wise All that shit She gotta be She gotta be caring She mm -hmm. gotta be nurturing She gotta be She gotta be bad mm -hmm. She gotta be It's a lot of stuff You gotta be mm -hmm. In order to 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 lock the cuter down but, uh, <laughs> Outside of Outside of Outside of that Like you gotta be Real honest You know what I'm saying You have to be like I, you have to have some hood in you. Yeah. Like I, cause I'm, sure. I, you know what I'm saying. I need, you know, in psych, social, sociology. Like they, they say yeah. outside of divorce, the number one, the other reason, the second best, highest reason for divorce is lack of similar backgrounds and experiences. Mm -hmm. So I gotta have somebody who understand me, understand where I come from. Mm -hmm. And outside of that, yeah, I feel like that's those are like kind of like the, the the biggest things. You gotta be, yeah, she gotta be bad. Yeah. She gotta be bad. I I I didn't I didn't date it before, um, just based on personality. Yeah. And that should be cool. For like, <laughs> for a little first, bit. a little bit until you see him waking up coughing. You know what I'm saying? Like, you see damn. him like, damn, this is what I signed up for. Yeah, yeah. You know, when you see that like stank breath, waking up sick. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Diarrhea. Like yeah, you yeah. gotta see him go through that smell. They shit. Like yeah. you you ain't. You got it. She got to be bad. Yeah, yeah. She got to be bad. <laughs> Cause if she duh, ain't, duh, for him, wake up. You see a real. You like, God uh, damn. Yeah, you, you, you. I'm telling you, you go into a bathroom and smell a stinky ass shit. She better be pretty. Man, Cause yeah. you gonna, you gonna start rethinking. You gonna be tired of duh. this. Bitch. I swear. That's oh, funny. I done had a situation. I smelled some girl shit. Yeah. I was like, and she was not like cold. I'm like, yeah. It's, like, it's time. It's time for me to start packing this shit up. Man. Yeah, Wrap but, it up, box. Wrap that shit up, man. Duh, duh. What's long as you been in relationship, bro? <laughs> you seem like a six month nigga to me. <laughs> nah, about about. I mean, well, we gonna have to cut this. Out. <laughs> <laughs> 
fuck it is. Cut, cut, cut. So, about, uh, boy, we... <laughs> She's yeah. trying to get squeezed and drink. Hey, hey, nigga, nigga just sweat and shit. Hey, I know nigga shit. Some shit I can't say. I be like, oh, shit, I should have said that shit. Nah, nah, you good. You good, man. No, 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 no. We, no, we go keep that. Hey, you we love a boy, man. Listen, love a boy. Yeah, listen, love a boy. Can't get one of these water. Now, uh, uh, first albums, bro. Like, what's your advice to an artist? On his first album Because You see a lot of people They be afraid To put out projects You know what I'm saying Or they just be like Fuck I'm gonna do a singles What's your advice To somebody dropping Their first body of work First body of work mm -hmm. um, Catch him in the beginning mm -hmm. uh, With the, the first song Is like Usually like Going to set the tone For sure for If they're gonna Continue to listen to it Hell yeah So set the tone In the beginning mm -hmm. um, Be authentic mm -hmm. Be like like whatever you feel that you want to represent the project I would write out how you want the project to feel and mm -hmm. be received mm -hmm. and then from there like build your album out accordingly sure. it, beat selection matters mm -hmm. like make sure that you got beats that people would want to listen to that either are nostalgic mm -hmm. or um, maybe they might um, they might um they might trigger a certain feeling for people. Mm -hmm. So, like, like that type of thing would be, like, uh, super impactful. Mm -hmm. I think a good outro is very important. I, I think that's why I probably, like, I'm one of, like, Drake is one of my favorite rappers. Mm -hmm. Is because, well, he is my favorite rapper. Is because his outros and intros are always masterful. Hell yeah. And, like, and that's what you want to do in order to capture people. To, mm -hmm. like, and if you can maintain the integrity of an intro some bangers and mm. an outro mm. like y you are going to go like you're going to like at least gain the perception the next time you drop album that's going to be the yeah. same thing yeah, right yeah. so that and uh, i think too uh it's important to like at least make a song that you think girls will like too because women mm. are going to be more um loyal listeners than oh hell yeah hell yeah that's your number one your number one. like low-key like Black males is like last. Now you want the, the females and white people. Nah, facts. They, facts. They, gonna, they gonna pay for shit. They gonna pay they for gonna, concert tickets uh -huh. and merch, all that shit. Dog. They gonna do the whole situation. They gonna ride for you in the comments. They gonna, sure. you know what I'm saying? Especially if you can get them to be attracted to you. Hell yeah, hell yeah, dog. Hell yeah, dog. Man, it, see, I got boy head niggas. Might be like, and fuck that boy head ass nigga. Nah, this nigga had fro. I got braids and shit. <laughs> yeah, bro. Listen, listen. You know, so so funny. Hey, what is it? The braids? No, nigga. Uh, no. <laughs> no. I um, I. I, I I've been growing my hair out for like three years, so it's actually longer. But my yeah. hair shrink up. But but yeah, I had to I had to do something with it. The fro was just getting too Man, crazy. I wish I get one of them motherfuckers fro braids or something. <laughs> I'm going, hey, them niggas be going to Turkey. I be on, seeing on TikTok getting them motherfuckers uh, I, <laughs> hey, transplants, dog. I ain't gonna lie. If if my if my shit ever was to like, you know what I'm saying? If go, I'm definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Some yeah. people can pull the ball head off. Yeah. My head too small. I can't do yeah, it. Yeah, like, yeah. Even with braids, my head look kind of small. So I realized I'm like, bro, if I ever ever go bald, I'm I, if they gotta pull hair out my ass and put it on my head, <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah, gonna be walking that around. Take that shit. I'm gonna be walking around with the ass hair on my head, bro. No. So, you what, know what I'm saying? What's somebody's first album that you would always remember? So first album that I will always remember from, from an artist like yeah oh that's a good question that's a great question man god damn you got so many good questions may not drop man uh, do, first first do. album the first album um hmm, cause for me I, I never forget what's name first album dog get rich or die trying like first album I mean there's a few I think mm. one you think in Kanye college oh, yeah. dropout even as a kid I remember the impact of that hell yeah um I think um Adele, 19. Okay, Ooh. okay. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't expecting that one, but yeah. Oh, shit, that <laughs> shit, oh. <laughs> that was some motherfucking heat. Yeah, for sure. Heat. Hell yeah. Oh my goodness, Adele's like one of my favorite. Hey artists. man, when it comes to RB, I listen to RB more than rap. You know what I'm saying? I, Tim's. Speaking of R&B, oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Tim's, Lauren Hill. I wasn't like okay, like when I, I, I'm talking about when I first listened to it, mm -hmm. not when it first came out. Mm -hmm. Like Lauren Hill. Oh my goodness, when I first yeah. listened to it, I felt oh, yeah. like I was in a class. I I feel like I have a teacher in my mind, <laughs> going yeah. through the whole skits and everything. Like no, for that, sure. that's the greatest album ever. But yeah, I, I think. Those are some of the the the, the albums I think of when I like first listen like mm. 
a euphoric experience. Yeah, yeah I, I'll say that. I say Kelly Price Mirror. Well, I don't think that's her first album, but Kelly Price Mirror Mirror was fire yeah. too. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah, see, see, I know like niggas will be like and say they craft seriously because you listen to more than just rap. Oh yeah, like, that's absolutely. why I always feel like Snoop Dogg said this shit countless of times. Like you could tell like his background with music is why he's so great at music because you know he listens to different shit growing up. You could tell from you could tell from how he rapped, how his beats are, and all that mm -hmm. shit. You know what I'm saying? But it, oh yeah, that's what. Me and my wife were talking about this shit. I'ma ask you, who is five people that you that you would love to meet, dog? Five people. Because I, I had said I said uh I said uh Mike Tyson. <laughs> Snoop so, Dogg. So right. Yeah, Snoop Dogg, uh Will Smith, <laughs> Denzel Washington, and Barack Obama. <laughs> It was like five people I would want to meet. I feel like I'll be like, yeah, all right, I'm happy to meet you. Like you want to meet all black men? That's crazy. Man. That should sound crazy too. Huh? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> that's not crazy. No, like, no, 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 no. I was, I was, I was that's, oh, outside of like that's actually smashing. I don't know no woman I want to meet like. Outside, like I want to meet you to smash. No, 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 one hundred percent. I, I, oh, yeah. I, I respect that. I respect yeah. that. I, I don't know. I think I definitely, you know, you <laughs> know who number one. Oh yeah, yeah be, for sure. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll be Drake Graham. Yeah. Uh, but outside of that, um, I would want to meet. Hmm. I would want to meet Lotto. Okay. I, and not even just on some. I mean, yeah, 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 she's he fine as <laughs> hell. God damn. But no, oh, I, 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 car, though, oh Lord, have mercy. <laughs> Um, but outside of like just that though, like she's also a great artist. But yeah. I really respect her artistry. I really respect her as a rapper. I really think that she's like a top rapper, yeah. and she does it in such a skillful way. Mm -hmm. um, I would like to meet um, Adele. Okay, that's like one of my favorite artists. Hell yeah. Um, I think uh, Big Sean for sure. And um. And, um, I'm tired of disrespecting Big Sean too though. Oh man, I that's hate it. it. I hate it. He's a top yeah. rapper. He just yeah. don't be. He, him, and J Cole like they be low key. Just they chilling. be they like, they be the I love the sport, but not the comp competition. Exactly. Like yeah. like some KD ass niggas. Which yeah, I love. Yeah, sure. I, I I don't think he, Big Sean, if he wanted to, could be the top rapper in the yeah. game and for a long period of time because can't nobody really fuck with him for real, for real. Yeah. But I know that like he's him and I think him Kendrick J Cole they all do the same thing where they're like. They experience They not like Like this is why I respect Drake so much Like no offense To all those other rappers But mm. like Drake be in That motherfucking yeah. Like he cranking out An album every year yeah, Since yeah. 2015 13 albums yeah, In 8 yeah. years 8, 9 years Like that's kind of no, crazy for sure. You know what I'm saying So like Being able to put That type of energy Into it I wish yeah. Big Sean Like <laughs> as a fan I wish he would do that And him and uh, What's name Dropping a project together That shit was hard Janae Ioka Yeah That shit was hard Oh that 28 oh, Yeah 28, it was 28 he, he's He's such a great artist, and that's yeah. what that be what be irritating yeah. me, bro. Like, bro, you the yeah. best. All you gotta do is just put foot on necks. Yeah, yeah, but then you know, some people, you know, life be different. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? When you got kids, when you got businesses, like you can't. You know, like some people prioritize different things. But yeah, yeah. But yeah and I, I don't know who my fifth would be. My fifth, my fifth would be um, I did, uh, Steph Curry. Steph Curry. Oh yeah, okay. Steph Curry. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's my favorite yeah. basketball player. Yeah, yeah, that's my nigga, dog. That's my nigga, dog. Finish the line. If I was, if I wasn't rapping, I would be trapping. <laughs> if I could smash whoever, I would smash. <laughs> Lotto. I hate when niggas. La. I hate when hoes. La. <laughs> I love when she. <laughs> Listens. Okay, hell yeah, she, the motherfuckers will be listening to that shit. Then Q, yeah, I love when she so my dick. <laughs> <laughs> nah, listen, a, a girl who listens, a girl who listens is way more valuable than the yeah, best, yeah. your best eater. For sure, I swear. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, really yeah. is like, and sometimes the best eater usually is a correlation. Like if she if she can listen, she usually can do a lot of things. For well. sure, for sure, my money make. Problems. <laughs> <laughs> hey, these rappers in the city are all talented. <laughs> that was a political way. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, nice. oh, no, I really like. There's so much talent. Yeah, no, in the for city. sure. Hell so yeah. much talent I'm, in this. I'm city. happy because I used to be a nigga when I used to do music. I used to hate every Detroit rapper. Yeah. I think cause it was like because I'm doing music because I don't know. Uh, niggas on IG. Cap. 
<laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah. That was the last one, dog. Now, when, what can they expect with the Boy Meets World, dog? What's, what's your expectations like? And, like, what what would make this a good project and what would make this a bad project? Cause I'm quite sure you, it's a good, but, like, is there anything that can go wrong with this project as far as, like, promotion-wise, listen-wise? Well, there's a couple things. What I, I think what I want people to get from it, I think that was your first question, mm -hmm. is I want people to see the the multifaceted, like, cute boy, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? For sure. And, and, and I want them to see that in such a short way because, mm -hmm. like, if, if I could, if it was up to me, if I was a bigger artist, I would have made this album like or this uh, project, like, 21 songs mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying I would have made it super long and I had a whole bunch of songs that I, that would fit well with all of it mm -hmm. but unfortunately I can't do that because I, since I'm a newer artist I gotta capture attention in 11 or less songs for sure so I, I, with me knowing that I want to people to just know that there's a different side of me and there's like there's the there's a dichotomy of like how my life is I want it to be more personal than it is just surface level braggadocious mm -hmm. me rapping about either my like former or now life like I didn't think that that would like like I, I think that there's ways to do that and be mm -hmm. intentional yeah. um, what can make this go wrong I, th I don't think that I mean I don't care if people perceive this as like I mean I some part of me do care like oh I want people to like it but I also understand that like this is my like I fuck with this album for sure you know what I'm saying Hell yeah. and I care about me putting something like this out mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying so I don't really care about that but I think that would really be the issue is rollouts mm -hmm. that's be the issue yeah, like yeah. people gotta be on their time people gotta do their part in helping with rolling of song out mm -hmm. and if they are not on that type of time it makes my job complicated for sure because like I rely on you to do this thing. Yeah, so, yeah. so yeah. So, I, I think the rollout is one, and people's responsibilities. I think um, I've grown more now to not expect loyalty enough for people to like really try to promote my music as much as I would want them to. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I think that it would definitely help if people did. Hell yeah! You know what I'm saying <laughs> no, like, sure. like, <laughs> like, like I, I don't no longer expect that as like the I don't uh, assume that to be the expectation. Mm -hmm. But I also like, like back then it used to be like, you ain't share my song, fuck you, bitch ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it was like, Donnie, you're dead to me, right? So it was like, but now it's more so like understanding, like no, I have to make people want to share it. I have For to sure. do all these other stuff to put the foot forward to do it. And if I don't do that on my end, and if I don't make music that's shareable, mm -hmm. then that's on me. So I have to do it in a way where it's palatable and it's shareable. If not. Let's yeah. fuck everybody. You For know? sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Now, you know, last question, man. When niggas was going through the little phase, they changed it, or young. As you get older, would you ever change your name from Q the Boy to Q? Is this the Q or Q the Man? Uh, <laughs> nah. I, 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 thought, I mean, I, nah. I'm still going to be like, because I, I, I think, I think <laughs> there's a connection with like, my music and everything I'm based every I, the boy part of my name like I, I, this was an intention at first but mm. I feel like I've understand this that like a lot of everything that I do is based off what I learned as a kid as a boy yeah. you know what I'm saying so like that core that's always core with me so mm. I, I don't think that that would ever ever leave like that core energy of like cute boy like yeah. the, being the boy and understanding and perceiving the world as I perceived it and growing up and matriculating all of those things come from traumatic experiences good experiences bad experiences all types of experiences mm -hmm. um that shaped me who I am so the boy is always gonna be the boy for sure for sure for sure man and like I said we, we all, if y'all watching this y'all should have been motherfucking listening to the project cause it came out earlier tight today tight shit you know what I'm saying cause it will be Tuesday 23rd you know and shit man and it's my birthday you know what I'm saying type time oh shit on 23rd yeah oh shit happy early birthday dog. you know what I'm saying appreciate Hell you yeah. man appreciate yeah, you man shit. my shit uh, my auntie the next day on 24th shout out to my uh, tight shit my fucking uh, Candace in the building you know what I'm saying <laughs> Leo's all day type time Hell yeah Leo women is crazy Oh man, yeah, <laughs> I don't they, know about the yeah, they, they crazy and they they some lies. Yeah, yeah, man, I dealt with a couple of them. Yeah. <laughs> the lie, <laughs> the lie and 
the truth I ain't in them Hell yeah man <laughs> But shit man You got anything you wanna leave people with Before we get up out of here Boy Meets World's on the way man I mean, it's, It should drop when this drop man Please go listen to it I'm telling you It's fire It's fire yeah. It's fire I got top five right up It's a die line Die line <laughs> die. No I'm joking yeah. Nah it's fire man It's, it's, it's very short mm. And it's very like crisp and to the point i feel like y'all gonna like it so for sure. make sure y'all go get it it's the best podcast in the motherfucking world yeah. and that come from me that stamp Hell period yeah. he said that shit he said and make sure y'all listen to that motherfucking project man it's hard yeah. you know what i'm saying I, I listen to it already man shit this shit tough man and like i said it's eight o'clock right now as y'all listen to this motherfucking podcast so y'all should have heard that shit earlier nigga type time and, and post my man shit man damn man yeah man he ain't say put on your page put on your story it's only 24 hours you god damn saying? yeah i mean i'm not gonna judge you i am if you don't post it you know what i'm saying fuck you right. type shit <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah man But you already know what it is man Cue yeah. the boy Shy vs. a Podcast Episode 203 Boy means real I love you Topanga <laughs> 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 We got this motherfucker dog My dog Topanga was a thickie